Hello everyone. Welcome to our webinar marathon week. Hope you all are keeping safe and all are set to go for the upcoming big events happening in October. Microsoft Power Platform Conference and a Community Submit North America. We are thrilled to provide you with the preview of Ionogic's latest innovation that we'll be showcasing at this conferences. I'm Jairaj Nadar and I will be your host and guide throughout this exciting session. And in today's session, we will talk about our flagship product that is SharePoint Security Sync. It is a comprehensive solution for integrating Dynamic 365 CR with the SharePoint along with the document management. So for your information, all lines will be muted. In case if you need any information, any queries, any questions, feel free to put it in the chat window. I will be happy to answer all of your queries at the end of the webinar. So before I deep dive into the session, let me give you a short brief about Inogic. Inogic is one of the leading service provider and an independent ISV. We are also an exclusive Dynamic 365 CRM boutique shop that has been in the business for more than decades now. We also been active in the CRM community in which our blogs are very popular. As you can see on the screen, these are all the various productivity add-ons which Inogic has to offer. Among all, I would like to talk about a few key flagship product of Inogic. Starting with Maplytics, Maplytics is a market leading CFMD certified product which provide capabilities like visualizing CRM data on map, route optimization, smart appointment planner, territory management, and much more. And yes, on today's session, we will be seeing our another flagship product that is a SharePoint security sign. So apart from this product development, Inogic is also an SI. We do provide an offshore development services by assisting our partners and the customers. So if you need any more information related to any of our productivity add-on or service related, you can do reach out to us at crm at the rate inogic.com. So now before I proceed ahead, let me shoot out a poll that shows you what sparked you to interest on this webinar. So I would request you to kindly cast your vote on the poll that you see on your screen. So here's the poll. So what sparked your interest in registering for this webinar? So this information will be highly helpful for us to understand. So kindly uh, cast your vote on the poll that you see on your screen. 10 seconds to go. Thank you for casting your vote. So this is the agenda for the today's session where we will be seeing the challenges faced by the users the managing the document on a cloud storage. How our document management app can able to overcome those challenges along with the syncing the CRM security model in the SharePoint with our SharePoint security sync followed by live demonstration and finally, at the end, we will be having a Q&A session. Let's begin the session with the challenges. Though Microsoft Dynamics CRM is a sophisticated system, many user faces are many challenges in managing their document within Dynamics CRM. So currently, there is no provision for syncing a CRM security privileges with SharePoint. Though it has the native SharePoint integration, currently we don't have that provision and unable to overcome the set storage limit. So like you all may be aware that the SharePoint has a certain storage limit uh, in the document library, right? So currently there is no provision where uh, we can able to overcome those challenges and limited dynamic CRM storage space. So yes, storage is one of the main concerns for many of the organization in the current world. Like they face a lot of storage, so that puts them to buy an additional storage space. 
and only one file can be uploaded at a time which is really a time consuming task like user need to upload one file using the uh, document tab in the out of the box functionality so which is again a, a time consuming task so keeping all of these challenges in mind we have come up with a one stop solution that is a sharepoint security sync so by having the solution in place so what exactly it can do is you can overcome the challenges that we have seen now along with the security so so you by implementing this what exactly it happens is you will be able to provide a, a reliable access to the confidential data that has been shared in the sharepoint along with the security privileges that has been saved. So any changes that has been made in the CRM related to the security role, the privileges, the same will get replicated in the SharePoint. So this we will be seeing live in a live action whenever I, while I'm showing you the demo. And yes, you see on the screen, the stats that you see on the screen is the what the current poll says that uh, the user face a 21 percentage of productivity loss so i start with the productivity loss because yes the managing a document in a very organized way is where you improve the productivity right so over here yes without organizing any managed or document within the dynamic crm or into the sharepoint where the user can have a lot of productivity loss where they need to look out for a manually or search for that particular record or folders the documents etc 23% saved in managing the security access. So like, as I said, if you wanted to do a reliable secured access of confidential data in the SharePoint, yes, it is pretty much a uh, very uh, concerning point for many organizations where uh, security, the documents are not secured as well. And 30 to 40% is saved in the storage cost. So yes, like by implementing this uh, document management solution, the user can able to save their the cost that they spend in order to buy an additional storage space uh, within the dynamic CRM. So that is where it has been saved. So by implementing this, what exactly happened is you can reduce the storage cost, enhance the document confidentiality, increase your user's productivity, and thereby efficient document management. So this is where our product uh, SharePoint Security Sync plays a major role, where as I said, it also allows you to manage your document within the SharePoint along with the security. So any changes, any modification, any security privileges changes that has been made in the CRM, the same has been replicated into the SharePoint. So these are all the, some of the key features that SharePoint Security Sync has to offer, like, you can upload so recently we have come up with the uh, i could say an update like you can upload a file up to 1.5 gb within the attached to dynamic ui so what exactly it is is i will show you in the lab demonstration so where you can able to upload those size file directly to the sharepoint custom email description so you can also create customized email description uh, <clears throat> the link generated by the attached to dynamic like whenever you are email gets generated and if you wanted to having an attachment the links the link get added against the timeline so that can be uh, customized email description can be done as per the preferred content and the upload files for 100 records so yes you can select the multiple records like 100 records at a time and you can upload a file directly to the sharepoint move email body content so yes also, I could say like this is again one of the new features that we have been added up recently to our uh, solution. Like you can migrate the content, body content, email body content from the CRM to the SharePoint. Let's say uh, uh, many of the customers of the prospect they came up saying that yeah, the the body email body contains the signature part and uh, all the tech, all the all the email content part. So we wanted to get migrated to that. The respective cloud storage which is really hampering the storage space in the crm so yes we do support that now and the security privileges so any security privileges changes that has been made in the like <clears throat> within the attached to dynamic ui you can define what security privileges that you wanted to give it to the user like whether you want to give upload options download email and yes many organizations don't want the 
need to delete any particular document uh, in the CRM. So in that case, you can disable the delete uh, security privileges within the attached to dynamic UI. So this is completely within the UI itself, which I'll be showing you while in the demonstration. Create multiple folders for the activities. So yes, that is pretty much possible and drag and drop. So you can simply drag and drop a file onto the UI, which gets immediately uploaded to the SharePoint rather than using the out of the box functionality, which has only to upload one file at a time. So these are all the some of the key features which SharePoint Security Sync solution has to offer. Let's see all of these key features in a live action. So let me switch back to my Sierra window. So for the webinar purpose and the demonstration, what I've done is I've already pre-configured a SharePoint Security Sync solution in one of my demo environment. And for the better understanding, what I've done over here is I've logged in with the three different user. That is Samuel. Let's assume Samuel is having the organization level access, the manager level access, so he can able to see all the records. Let's say, for example, the account entity. He can see all the records in the CRM as well as the same for which the document location has been created that can be seen in the SharePoint as well. And on the other end, on the other browser, what I've done is I've logged in the user who is a salesperson, let's assume, having a user level access. He can able to see only those records in the CRM which either he has created or shared with him. So that's the one which he can able to see in the CRM as well as into the SharePoint. So in CRM, I see only one account for him and the same for which the document location has been created in the SharePoint, the same I can see over here. And as I said, the other user, other user is the Bella, who is again a user level access, which he can able to also see the same like two accounts, which he or she has created in the CRM and same for which the document location has been created, I can see that in the SharePoint as well. So now, <clears throat> let's take an example, considering a real-time scenario. So as you all know, like current world and the current, uh, in current uh, scenario, like many organizations, a lot of, lot of customers and the prospects which we used to get a request is saying that, what about the storage space? Can we uh, reduce my CRM storage space by moving those documents to the respective cloud storage. Is that any solution or is it possible? This is the request that we used to get in. And uh, to answer to this, yes, it is pretty much possible with the help of our uh, solution. And the feature that is called as a bulk migration job. Let's assume in a, in a, in a, uh, in a such a way that uh, being an organization using a SharePoint as a cloud storage, they have, let's say, uh, 100 GB of a files, a history of an attachments. So since a lot of attachments on a daily basis are hitting into the system, so there are a lot of attachments residing in the CRM and which is really hampering them in order to buy the additional storage space. And which is obviously a costly as of now, as compared to the addition, buying an additional storage space, you all may be aware of that. Like, um, so in order to overcome those these challenges, what 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 exactly you can do is, with, like as I said, we do have a feature called as a bulk migration job. You can migrate all of your history of an attachments. So let's say, for example, uh, any like this organization having a email attachment, a lot of email attachment or a notes attachment that are hitting onto the system and they wanted to migrate that. So all of your history of an attachment can be easily migrated with this help of bulk migration job. So the configuration that you need to do a bulk migration job is over here. So for this webinar and the demonstration purpose, I've already run one bulk migration job in order to move my attachments from the CRM to the respective cloud storage. So over here, what I've done is, for the nodes attachment, I've selected the connector and the schedule date. So we highly recommend the customers to schedule the bulk migration job in your off business hour and to run it in a batch wise so that your smooth and ongoing 
uh, processing of your uh, migration of your attachments can be processed from the CRM to the SharePoint and the attachment action. So let me give you more uh, explanation on this part. So currently, what exactly this attachment action is? So, <clears throat> so we have a two options over here, either copy or a move. So what exactly it does is when you select it as a move, a copy. So the attachment will get migrated completely, removing from the CRM to the respective cloud storage. So it will move completely from the CRM to the respective cloud storage, thereby reducing your CRM storage space. However, like many customers, they want also to keep the records or to keep the copy in the CRM as well. So for that, if you select it as a copy, a copy of an attachment will be residing in the CRM as well as into the SharePoint. So yes, in a many a case, most of the customers may prefer to migrate in order to reduce the CRM space. So yes, it is the move option. And you can define the criteria like when you wanted to process from how long the data, whether you wanted to set it on the past three months data or past X weeks or past years, older than that or a custom. So all the, it is pretty much um, uh, like I could see uh, it's up to your choice, like how, how long back data you wanted to migrate from the CRM to the respective cloud storage. So you can define and then you can run this bulk migration job or you can schedule this bulk migration job. So as soon as the bulk migration job is performing, like migrating the attachments from the CRM, in the information tab, you can able to see the, the all the details over here, like how many records has been processed, how many has been succeeded, what is the file size, how many got ignored, and if any failure occurs, so that can also be seen over here. So all the status can be checked in the bulk migration job status. If it is in notes, notes attachments, so what was the record and the file size succeeded. So all these details can be completely seen in the bulk migration job over here. Isn't it great? Like, yes, you can able to easily reduce your CRM storage space in a real time by with the help of this bulk migration job so that all of your history of an attachment gets migrated to the SharePoint. Yeah, you may be also thinking, right, what about my real time? So I'm doing my history of an attachment. If a user on a real time is again adding an attachment into the system or again email attachments that has been adding up on a daily basis. So yes, it is also very much possible for the real time migration as well. How it works, let me show you that. So let's assume, for example, <clears throat> Let me take one example over here. So this is the account which I'm creating for the demonstration purpose that I'm. So for example, this is the account and uh, what I'm doing over here is I will add an attachment. So let's say for example, the note attachment that has been added to this particular record, the account entity record. And I want that attachment to get migrated to the SharePoint, right? So let's see how it happens, how it works over here. So let's add an attachment. So in order to move this, or in order to move this uh, account entity attachments, like the notes attachments to get migrated from the uh, CRM to the SharePoint. So what we want to do is you need to do a one-time configuration over here in the entity configuration. If I go over there, I have already pre-configured for the account entity. So you just need to, to configure for which are the entity for you wanted to perform this um, or you wanted to move the attachment, the migration process. So you need to configure it over here. So since I've done it for an account entity and I've set the attachment action as a move, so I should be able to see that now the attachment has been added against this particular account entity record. And uh, if I refresh the timeline, I should be able to see that this record should get easily migrated to the uh, SharePoint and it will leave the link in the body of the node. I'll also show that like while explaining the feature, as I said, it will uh, the body of the node 
contains a link which which has been used for the references like whenever the user opens that record he wants you to know what was the file that has been uh, added against this particular record so that the reason the link has been left in the body of the node thereby migrating the attachment so if i refresh it so there you see that the file has been successfully moved to the sharepoint and the link has been left in the body of the node and if for references if i also click on it and i can uh, <clears throat> know or open that particular sheet for example the record the document that has been uploaded and if i go into the sharepoint So this is the record that we have created. If I open that, so here you see the attachment that we have migrated in a real time. So this is how like the real time migration is works. Like whenever any users on a real time adding an attachments or adding a notes attachment, email attachments, the sales literature attachments within the dynamic CRM. So that can get easily migrated. And also your history of an attachments get migrated from the CRM to the SharePoint with the help of our bulk migration feature. So now, uh, yeah, as I said, yes, you may be thinking, yeah, I have done the migration part, like, and it is pretty much a suitable solution about for migrating all of my attachments from the CRM to the SharePoint. But yes, SharePoint do has some limitations of having the 5,000 items in a single document library i hope you all may be aware about it so how does that how can i resolve that or how does that how can i overcome those challenges so is there any solution where i can able to create your uh, my own document library in the sharepoint yes that is pretty much possible you can able to create your own document library in the sharepoint for managing or storing your documents so let's say for example you see in the sharepoint inside the account entity record i see all of the saml solution right if i go into the site content i see that particular account now how can i create a document library from within dynamic crm using our solution so let's take the same account entity record if i open that so this was the configuration that i've done it or uh, now for earlier for moving simple attachment and on the next tab you see a create custom folder structure so this is the new feature like the latest feature that we have added up uh, since uh, six, uh, six months ago like this is what many of customers that has been requested facing the issue like since they have a lot of attachments to a specific uh, entity let's say for the account entity and if they want they wanted to so they have the limitations that's like the SharePoint as a limitation, right? So to overcome those, we have come up with this new feature, which is really adding a value to the daily business practice. So this is the create full custom folder structure and you can define how you wanted to create in the SharePoint by period, by starting character or a custom. Let's say for example, if I select by period and I select um, monthly over here and I define the date format and create folder structure so folder format is where you can also define the logical name over here in the curly brace open curly brace you can define if you wanted to create a record folder structure so you can also define that in the folder format with the open curly brace and having that logical name over here so as of now i've not added that any create folder structure so if i save it so what happens is now whenever any new account has been created so it will create with the new document library into the sharepoint and the files will get respectively moved into that particular folder into the sharepoint so let's see how it works so let's say for example i will create an, another account So now I have created a new account and if I, let's create a document location. So for that, so if I hit on that attached to dynamic button, I should be like, since the document location has been created, let me give you a more uh, 
insight about this ui so this is the ui that i was saying earlier as well like how you can upload uh, documents like multiple documents at a time the folders as well so down the session i will explain you more about this attached to dynamic ui how it works and what all the features that it has to offer so now the document location has been created if i click over here i can simply navigate to the sharepoint so here you see the account september 2023 since i've set the date format and set it as a monthly reason so that's the reason i see over here if i go in the site content so there you see this is a new document library that has been created in the sharepoint and inside that if the account has been which we have created that i can see over here so yeah that's how you can able to simply create your own document library into the sharepoint and you can upload or you can manage your document into the sharepoint so now all those managing the documents and uh, reducing the crm storage space that has been done so you may be thinking what about the security as we have been seeing the the product name is a sharepoint security sync so how does that works how the security sync or the security privileges works over here so as i said i have logged in in three two other user as well so this is the bella right so let's assume bella is working in one of this account bella solution and she wanted to upload a document so she wanted to upload a document against this particular record and into the directly into the sharepoint so earlier bella used to upload a document through the address to native server out of the box functionality which is where she can upload only one file at a time but here that's how the attached to dynamic uh, comes into the picture like this is the ui where the user can able to simply upload a files or the folders directly onto the sharepoint so there are two ways or two ways of uploading the files either you can simply drag and drop a file onto the ui or you can also upload the old school method of simply uploading the files so this is the ui that i see and if i enter to upload a file let's say for example the sam folder i can simply drag and drop a file onto this ui so depending upon the number of files inside this folder it's get uploaded and if i have open that i can see the file inside that and if i wanted to download i can download that if i wanted to rename this file yes that is also possible and if suppose if i wanted to send an email on the go to my colleague one of my colleague so there are we have a two options like either you can send an email as an attachment or as a link as well so when you click on an as an attachment a new email window will be opened up with this file has been added as an attachment so this is the um, the new email screen that have opened up with the file will be added as an attachment and also yes like many user wants to send the attachment as a link so in that case instead of attachment over here the links will be attached or the attached in this case and on the go the user can able to simply send the file to the respective users and also if you wanted to send any anonymous shareable link to any of your customer any of your customer the colleague so yes that is also pretty much possible you can either send as a read only link or an editable link to the users and also if you wanted to create a folder click on it just create a folder and inside that folder if you wanted to upload any files so that is also possible and yes you can view either as a list view or a thumbnail view so we do currently provide two options either in this format or in the list view as well so this is the various actions that can be performed within the attached to dynamic ui where it saves a lot of time for the users in order to upload a single document at a time uh, whereas our attached to dynamic uh, ui has the more uh, action that can be performed and which can improve the productivity of the users as well and uh, so now let's coming to that back to the use cases like now the bella has uploaded the file uh, inside this folder like against this particular record now since bella has been working and bella seems to be going on a vacation let's assume in that way like 
for example bella is going on a vacation and she want to share this record with the other sales person like this could be a potential account for them to close so she wanted to share this record with the other user or the other sales person where they can able to immediately act upon it and start working on this particular account as well in the meantime so for that what can i do is let's bella will share this record <coughs> with this particular user let's say for example beverly is the other sales person which we have taken right so let's share and this is the important piece over here so what privileges that you are giving to the users in this crm the same should get replicated in the sharepoint for this beverly account right so let's see whether that's the case or not so what user privileges what privileges that you are giving to this particular beverly user so over here read write delete all of the permissions are there for the purpose let's give the read only permission and i will share this record with the beverly so now bella has shared this particular record bella solution with the beverly and so now if i go into the beverly account i should be able to see <coughs> beverly has this account in the crm if i go in the all account so there you see i see a beverly account over here and if i go into the sharepoint i should be able to see that so the i see that bella solution over here so so this was the record that has been shared by the user bella so now you see since the bella has given only the read only access to this user so it has the, the same that has been replicated in the crm you see bella can see only the read only record over here in the crm and the same gets replicated in the sharepoint as well if i go in the sharepoint and open this bella solution and i see you see the bella icon see sorry the uh, read only access the pencil icon over here that indicates something that the user cannot able to modify any records in the sharepoint either in the crm or in the sharepoint so any security privileges any modification that has been made in the security privileges or the modification in the security rules uh, associate dissociate adding a user in the group removing a user in the group adding a user in the team changing the business unit so all of this in any of all of these actions if that has been performed in the crm the same gets replicated in the sharepoint as well so over here i i cannot able to make any changes against this particular file either in the crm nor in the sharepoint so if i open that record if i wanted to make any changes let's say let's give it a try and see whether that works or not if i wanted to make any changes i simply get a message this work was open in a read only mode so the user cannot able to make any changes or modification against this particular record so isn't it great like any changes any modification that has been done uh, either in the security role of the users or in the privileges the same get replicated in the sharepoint it's a seamless like i could see automatically the replication works in the sharepoint and so that the user cannot able to access any document or make changes any again against particular document in the sharepoint so so that's how the sharepoint security thing works like you can so any action that has been made in the crm in terms of the security privileges the same gets replicated in the sharepoint and let's assume let's assume in another way like if if suppose beverly has been promoted to a manager level let's assume in that way like beverly has been promoted to a manager level and she is a sales manager now so she has been given a organization level access so earlier she was having a user level access right so that's the reason she could not able to see all the records of the other users now let's assume in a such a way that beverly has been promoted to a manager level so let's change the security role of this particular user and see whether bella can beverly can able to see all the records in the crm as well as into the sharepoint for which the document location has been created let's change the security role of beverly
we'll go in the settings security to the users I will select the enabled users over here. Let's give Beverly a sales manager role. So let's see how it works. So I have promoted the Beverly to a sales manager role. So now what are all the records that Samuel can see? So this is the Samuel user, right? Samuel is having organization level access and you can see all the accounts, like all accounts in the CRM of all of the users. The same should be for which the document location has been created. You can see it in the SharePoint as well, right? So the same should get now seen by the Beverly as well. If I go in the Beverly account, so if I refresh it, so all the accounts, I can see it in the CRM and for which the same, the document location, which has been created, the same should be seen in the SharePoint as well. So if I go in the SharePoint, so there you see, so for which I can see all the accounts in the SharePoint as well, for which the document location has been created. So, so the main, um, I would like to highlight over your risk that like any modification that has been done or any changes against if you associate or dissociate record adding a user to the team removing a user or any changes in the security role giving the privileges so any changes that has been done in the crm the same gets replicated in the sharepoint so <clears throat> so with with SharePoint security sync, the idea is to enhance the user experience and further build upon the integration to make the integration experience seamless between the two systems. By not just allowing for associating a document folder against CRM records, but also syncs the security privileges from Dynamic 365 as CRM to the SharePoint to ensure secure and a reliable access to confidential data stored in the SharePoint. So now shortly you will receive a poll on the features that you like the most in the SharePoint security sync solution. So I would request you to kindly cast your vote on the features that you like the most in this SharePoint security sync solution. I hope you can see the poll on your screen. So it would be great if you could kindly cast your vote on the poll. Thank you for casting your vote. Let me switch back to the presentation. So these are the, some of the common FAQ questions that we get, get it from the customers. So are the attachment easily accessible once migrated to the cloud storage? So yes, it is pretty much uh, possible and you can easily access this document. Which type of SharePoint sites does the SharePoint security sync supports? The SharePoint security supports. So this uh, the the default SharePoint security sites which you enable uh, within the data SharePoint uh, within the native Dynamics CRM. So those can be synchronized. So yes, it is pretty much compatible with all the uh, devices as well. Is it possible to sync previous record in a bulk? So yes, with the help of bulk migration job, it is pretty much possible. So it is available in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 9.2 and above, and also in the Dataverse, which can be deployed on online. Okay, in case if we have any questions that arises, so you can send us an email at crm at the rate inogic.com. So we will be happy to answer your queries. So to get started within SharePoint Security Sync is really simple. You can download this solution from our website and as well as from Microsoft App Source. So if you need any assistance during your trial evaluation or setting up a trial at your end, do reach out to us at crm at the rate 
we will be happy to assist you and if required we can jump on a call and get the things done for you so let's catch up on the microsoft power platform conference on the booth number 102 on 5th of third to 5th of october at las vegas and also on the community submit at booth number 1429 which is happening on 15th of october till 20th at charlotte so if any of your attendees are coming to this conferences you can reach out to us crm at the rate inogic.com where we can able to have a scheduled one-to-one -one meeting with you so thank you i really appreciate for your time to taking and attending this webinar it was nice to meet you all so have a great day take care cheers bye-bye